Okay, now we're going to focus in on the postsynaptic membrane. So we have illustrated up here on this overhead the presynaptic membrane. Remember, you can tell at a synapse, which is the presynaptic membrane, by the presence of the synaptic vesicles, right? Which are packed with molecules of neurotransmitter, which is going to carry the chemical message across the synaptic cleft to the receptors that are located on the postsynaptic membrane. So what I want to focus in on here is, um, uh, or are these individual receptors. The, what are receptors? Receptors, again, are proteins, okay? They are coded for by instructions that are found in your DNA. They are inserted into the membrane. This is, you know, our phospholipid bilayer right here. And these are these large protein receptors that extend across the membrane, and they receive information in the form of binding the neurotransmitter. So the neurotransmitter, which is, you know, diffusing across the membrane, driven by the concentration gradient force, right, out of that vesicle, will sort of um, distribute itself around the synaptic cleft and bind to individual receptors. And remember, when something binds to something else, the entire complex changes its shape, changes its morphology, right? So this is being indicated here. Here's a receptor that does not have a neurotransmitter bound to it, right? Here is a receptor that has a neurotransmitter bound. And what you should note is that there has been a change in the shape of this receptor after the neurotransmitter binds. In fact, there is now a hole, right, that permits the passage, it'll turn out, of an ion, you know, to go through and we know from our discussion of synaptic, uh, of you know, action potentials, that when you permit ions to pass through the membrane, when you change the permeability of the membrane, you change the charge distribution, you can depolarize or you can hyperpolarize the cell. This is another kind of receptor that we're going to discuss here in a moment, um, where you see a different kind of a change occur, right? You see the neurotransmitter binding, there's a change in shape of this receptor, and something gets released. Something gets released inside the cell. This is a different kind of receptor we'll discuss in a minute. So postsynaptic receptors are large proteins with neurotransmitter binding sites. The neurotransmitter binds, and then the receptor changes shape, and then there is going to be some kind of consequence for the cell.